Kianda, beautiful goddess of the sea. Thank you for stopping in again at Nine World Chronicles as we take a look at another deity venerated for her association with the sea, in this case, specifically the ocean. I had recently done a video talking about the power or importance of water, obviously water being important to life itself. And typically in pantheons like this, the sea is only second to the sun or sky goddess, and in some areas, the thunder gods uh, have more, wield more power. But she is seen as a very benevolent people. She is seen as a very benevolent deity, and the prosperity of the tribal people were very dependent on their appreciation and veneration from her. She is said to be the guardian of the Atlantic Ocean and all of its creatures. She is invoked by fishermen for safe passage through the sea and successful, bountiful fishing expeditions, and they made offerings to this deity on the shore. It is also said that she could be worshipped traditionally by throwing offerings such as food and clothing into the sea. Now, her veneration is still very strong to this modern day, and every year the Luanda Island Feast is held to honor this deity. It is said that her presence may be symbolized by a skull, although there is no explanation as to the correlation between her and that figure which is typically associated with death. But overall, she is seen as a very beautiful and very benevolent deity who takes pride in providing bounty, especially for the people who are of proper behavior. If you have more to add to this particular post, please do so in the comment section. As always, I ask that you hit that like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when new videos drop.